What is up you guys, Mental Hog back here for episode 5 of our Argentina World Cup career. We are into the quarterfinals now, we are in the home stretch here coming up against the Netherlands today. We've already seen plenty of upsets here, we've got Ghana in the quarterfinals, Senegal in the quarterfinals, ourselves obviously up against the Netherlands today. It's going to be a tough team to break down, we will definitely do our best. They've got a strong defense, they've got a decent offense, I think we are... Um, I guess you could say kind of evenly matched. I don't know. I'd say we're really the favorites that come out on top of that. But anyways, if you guys are excited for this game coming up here today, make sure to keep that support coming down below. Drop a like, drop a subscription if you're new around here as well. On the road to 2000 by the end of the year. We obviously are in December now, so a big push towards the end would be required. But I think we can do it, guys. And I appreciate all the support on these videos. Also in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about Germany getting knocked out of the World Cup on the last day of the group by a winning goal from Japan that was maybe out of play. I don't know, a little bit controversial there, but uh, I'm so proud of the, the Japan team. My God, coming into that group, when I predicted the prediction, it was so hard for me to predict for them to get knocked out. I knew they were a good team. I always know that they do pretty well. So yeah, I'm very excited to see how much further they can get, but um, they have to play up against, I believe it's Croatia. So it's going to be a hard game for them. We'll see how it goes. Obviously what's going on in real life doesn't matter because we've got to play this game here against the Netherlands. They're going to be playing a three, I mean, sorry, a five, three, two sort of formation, like a five, two, one, two kind of with a cam. And we're going to stick with our four, three, three and um, four, two, three, one, I guess. And I'm going to stick with the lineup that we've been rolling with this entire time. We've got Papu Gomez starting on the left, Nico Gonzalez starting on the right, Lautaro Martinez and Leo Messi as well. The midfield is strong. The defense is strong. Everybody is great. So let's get out there and play a great game of football at the Lucille Stadium and get ourselves to the semifinal. And as the teams walk out for this quarterfinal game, uh, a reminder that today is actually the last day of the group stage. We've got our final games coming up here again. We've got a rematch of Uruguay versus Ghana. That's going to be a fun one to watch. We've got Brazil pretty much guaranteed to go through, but they are going to be playing against the Cameroon team that needs some points. We'll see how that game goes. And uh, Serbia versus Switzerland is going to be a scrappy match as well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the group stage so far. I know I have. It's been so much fun. And uh, tomorrow, the knockout stages start. The round of 16, the U.S., playing against this team right here, the Netherlands. Hopefully, we can get a good result against them. I'm rooting for the boys, of course, but we will see in due time. Time to get this match kicked off and underway, getting a full 90 minutes of commentary from me, getting my chops better at that, and it is very, very fun to do. This Netherlands team, they are not exactly the most forward-thinking team, even though they're scoring some... You know, plenty of goals and good goals and all that stuff. They're not necessarily the most forward-thinking team. So they're going to defend hard. It's going to be difficult to break them down, but we need to create the space and the runs to be able to get the result at the end of the day. Nico Gonzalez early on through on goal here, but DeVry able to cover that space and play the ball out for a corner. Big mistake there. Weird choice. And it's going to be Papu Gomez to play in this corner as well. Going to take my time, make sure I get a good delivery. Lautaro Martinez obviously coming up against some very strong center backs. Virgil van Dijk. One of the best in the world in recent years. And uh, DeVry. It's going to be a tough team to break down, like I said. But hopefully, we've got the players in the locker. We've got the GOAT, of course, playing. So, shouldn't be too difficult to do. Memphis Depay currently, though, giving us some problems. Running through on goal. Going to be looking for the cutback inside. And, wow, we are not covering the space. And I believe that is Davy Klaassen to score the opening goal for the Netherlands. Hopefully, not a sign of things to come. All right, well, a quick response needed here. Hopefully... We can get those goals and get ourselves back into this game. I think we will. That is a little bit of just a lapse in concentration from our defense, who have been playing very well as of late, so you can't blame them for having one or two little mistakes here and there, I guess. Virgil van Dijk clearing that out. Balls in behind. Definitely not going to be the way to go today. We'll keep trying them, I guess, if I see the opportunity, but I don't expect them to ever really work out for us. But balls in behind are working for the Netherlands. Wow, I will say, they have had a lot of success attacking down that left-hand side of theirs. I guess our right-hand side. I guess I'll speak in terms of our sides of the pitch, not theirs. Lautaro Martinez, a weird touch there. Ball gets knocked down. You're in timber now. Got the pace and space to run forward. Bergwijn, Steven Bergwijn playing into Denzel Dumfries, bombing down this flank. We know how good he is from that Liverpool career mode that we did. Papu Gomez, plenty of space now on the counterattack. This is kind of what we need to look for. Make sure that they have the opportunity to make mistakes. Lautaro Martinez gets up for that header, but DeVry and Van Dijk were covering that space very well. They're playing a goalkeeper that I have not seen play, actually, I don't think ever, in Passveer. In real life, they've got that guy that plays for Heronveen, I believe it is, playing in goal. I forget his name right now, but he's been incredible. And uh, I checked their, their team stats. They've been playing 
Um, yeah, I forget the names, honestly. I'm sorry. I'm really bad with remembering all the names right now. It's been a very long day for me, so I hope you can forgive me for that. But anyways, Acuna, who's been playing excellently this tournament for us, releasing the ball for Messi. Messi to Lautaro Martinez. Some space on the turn here. Van Dyke covering it. Back out wide here. I see a run from Messi. Messi to play in a ball here at the back post. Passivir is ready for that one. And Lautaro Martinez running himself ragged, as he always does. I think I love it about him. Hopefully he doesn't become too tired to play out the rest of this game, though. We need to, need to watch out for that. Rodri DePaul wins the ball back. Leo Messi. Leo Messi still with the ball here. Papu Gomez to Acuna. Acuna back inside. Papu Gomez. Leo Messi still with the ball here. Out wide to Nahuel Molina. Molina with an early cross into the box. Yuri and Timber clears that out. Paredes wins the ball back for us, though. Leo Messi. Moment of magic here, potentially. We've got Papu Gomez. I'm going to play it to Marcus Acuna. Acuna wins us a corner from the attempted cross. I'll take it. Leo Messi. Can he find the right space with this corner delivery? He absolutely can. Nico Otamendi almost getting up and scoring that. We get a corner again. Going to let Nawal Molina deliver this one. Why not? See how he does. Hopefully we can get this onto somebody's noggin. Lautaro Martinez. It falls. Oh, dangerously in the box. Almost for one of ours. Papu Gomez. Holding onto the ball. Papu Gomez to Gonzalez. Gonzalez to Lautaro Martinez. Releasing, oh, trying to at least release Papu Gomez. Would have been a great opportunity for us. But instead they come away with it. And now they look to break on the counterattack. Switch of play here. Deli Blind. Passing it to Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay getting a run here. But not to be. Cut out by Nahuel Molina, who's again been excellent at right back. Spoiled for choice in that position. Lautaro Martinez releasing it for Leo Messi, perhaps. Nope. Cleared back to the goalkeeper. Passvir picking that up with his hands. Taking his time. Rightfully so. The Netherlands are currently in the, re in the lead. We need to remember that. They are a goal up on us. So we need to, you know, kind of create some chances here. Like this one. Leo Messi. Moment of magic. Gets us back into the game. Papu Gomez. What a ball over the top for Leo Messi. Our captain. Of course it was going to be him. To score us the tying goal in this massive quarterfinal game against the Netherlands. Just that little pocket of space between the center backs there. Not enough um, space being covered by Van Dijk and Timber. So Messi runs onto it. He's the GOAT for exactly that reason. Papu Gomez, what a peach of an assist as well. Usually it's Messi playing balls like that. And now the game is back to where it began about 40 minutes ago. Even. I will say that since the Netherlands goal... We have been much the better side, creating way more chances, defending very well. I think that was, like I said, a lapse in concentration is really all it was. But we need to be careful not to have another one of those here, because the pressure is definitely on. In the final minutes of the half here, do we maybe have another chance to get ourselves a goal? Would be great to go in with the lead, of course, but easier said than done against this Netherlands defense. We need to not expose ourselves on the counterattack as well. Otamendi trying to get this ball up the field as quickly as I can. Messi finding a decent pass there, but Van Dyke covering the space. And I believe that's going to be all for the first half. One all right now. Like I said, I believe we're the better team looking through that first half. And we just need to find another goal or two. And we'll be through to the semifinals. As far as I'm concerned, no substitutions or changes in tactics necessary. We just keep playing the way we have been. And maybe just be a little bit cleaner on the ball. And I think we'll have ourselves a winning goal. At some point in the second half, of course. The last thing I want is extra time, because that means tired players, and then also potentially a penalty shootout, which we got knocked out last time we had one of those. Right now, Messi with space. I'm just going to do the safe thing, pass it out to Acuna. Acuna going to get it back inside, though, to Messi. Messi to Rodri DePaul. DePaul to Nicolas Gonzalez. Space on the turn. Outside of the boot finish. Oh, it's class from the Argentina side to start the second half. Nico Gonzalez has been a revelation as well. And that beeping is back. But it's okay. I believe that is Nico Gonzalez's third or fourth goal for Argentina in this tournament. He has been incredible. And now the Netherlands are looking very, very weak at the back. Wow, we're just getting easy balls in behind there. But Leo Messi, of course, not the tallest player. You don't expect him to actually be able to successfully get in behind with players like Virgil van Dijk on the pitch. Speaking of which, Virgil van Dijk been pretty decent in this game so far but he has not been the stalwart in defense that the Netherlands have needed for sure and now oh the Netherlands throwing bodies forward like you wouldn't believe Memphis Depay perhaps a change in system because now he's out rather wide 
Nile Molina has his work cut out for him here. The cutback comes in. Davy Clausen takes the shot, saved by Emiliano Martinez, and cleared out by Marcus Acuna. I'm okay with giving them this throw. Jeez, that was close. Something has changed into this Netherlands camp <laughs> since that goal. So, yeah, they're going to be trying to get themselves back into it, of course, because knockout football happens to work that way. When you're losing, you want to try to win. Oh, when you're winning, you don't want to try to lose, and that is going to be a corner for Argentina. I don't even know who that player is. Oh, yes, I do. It's uh, Berghaus. Berghaus to play in this corner here. Papu Gomez at the front post. Not the tallest player, but I trusted him, and he did what he needed to do. And it's a disaster at the back on that set piece. My shortest players were the ones the ball ended up at. And Virgil van Dijk, after I said he didn't do as well as he needed to defensively, scores him a tying goal. This game is getting interesting. And yeah, just a disaster in the set piece department here for Argentina. Emiliano Martinez coming out for that ball. I think the defender on the line probably should have been the one stepping out there. And now we're back to square one again. All to play for with about 30 minutes left in the game. Nico Gonzalez waiting for a runs. I see the run out wide here from Nahuel Molina. I'm going to try and get this ball as far up to the byline as I can and play a cut back. Not to be the goalkeeper forced to make a meal out of that clearance. And now we have the ball again. Kind of just reset and restart the attack. Waiting for the overlap from Marcos Acuna. Oh no, we gave the ball straight away to the Netherlands player. This is going to be very, very bad because Bergwijn totally free to run into all that space on our left-hand side. Looking for a cutback once again. We need to definitely be marking him a little bit tighter. Nico Otamendi getting the ball back for us there, distributing it out. I am getting a little bit nervous here at the way this Netherlands attack is going. And they have time to get back as well. We need to be a little bit more direct, I think, when we have that ball if we want to get in behind and score another goal. Messi doing some defending. Okay. Messi now wide left. Gets uh, knocked over by the defender, but that's not going to be a foul. If the this was real life, that totally would have been called a foul because elbow in the face. Hello, ref. Wake up. And as a matter of fact, I think at a time like this, it's time to make substitutions. Lautaro Martinez has ran himself ragged and has not scored in this game, I don't think. So he's coming off. Nico Gonzalez has been great, and I think we just need a little bit something different on maybe the left-hand side. So I'm going to actually move him there and bring Paolo Dybala on on the right. And I'm going to bring on Enzo Fernandez for Paredes, and DePaul goes to CDM. I've been making those subs quite a few times. Also, one more. I'm going to do this. It might be a little risky, and it's going to be my fourth sub here. Gonzalo Montiel coming on at right back for Molina. He's a bit tired, and I think I need some more energy there. Those are going to be four changes that I make. Big changes, I will say, and hopefully they will be useful and give us something, that little extra edge that we need to get the result across the line here, get ourselves to a semifinals. This is tournament football. These decisions have to be made sometimes. And I know Julian Alvarez has been a good servant when asked, like right then. But that was not the greatest touch, actually. Daily Blind. DeFry, they're playing a very, very aggressive system of football here, trying to get themselves a winner as well. They want this just as much as we do, and I think this would be an upset win, really, if they were able to do this. Alvarez inside to Nico Gonzalez. A little bit of space opening up. Can't get the shot off. Passes it to Rodrigo de Paul instead. Now with Paulo Dybala. Now with Montiel. Montiel, there's bodies in the box, but not a good crossing opportunity. Messi. Oh, the cutback was on there. The goal could have been scored right then and there. Montiel, once again, space on the ball. Time to get it to Nico Gonzalez. Oh, time for... Ooh, Enzo Fernandez to get a shot off and win a corner for us. Rodrigo de Paul to deliver this one. I guess I'll let him do it. Why not? Can we get this on somebody tall? Yeah, we could. Christian Romero with the ball now. Julian Alvarez. Paulo Dybala. Perhaps a moment of magic here. Paulo Dybala still with the ball. Rodrigo De Paul playing in a cross. Gets cleared out very easily for a throw in. By Daily Blind. They're subbing off players. Gakpo coming onto the pitch. And Cook Miners. So they're trying to solidify both up front and at the middle of the pitch. Paulo Dybala cross to the back stick. I see Nico Gonzalez in space. But I believe he was offside in the end. It seems we are poised for what could be the first extra time I have played in this Argentina World Cup and potentially a penalty shootout if that doesn't work out for us. Maybe not though. Oh wow, what a ball from Julian Alvarez. Paulo Dybala in the 87th minute, the super sub of dreams, scoring a potential winner here, 3-2 at this stadium. I forget which one actually, to be honest with you, but 3-2.
Oh, what a goal that could be. That could be the goal that we look back on when we potentially lift the World Cup trophy at the end of all of this that set us up for exactly that level of success. I think that that kind of goal is absolutely massive. And Paulo Dybala, the super sub of dreams. Also, Julian Alvarez playing a great through ball there. It was just the best ball to penetrate their entire defense all in one play. It was crazy. And now the Netherlands are going to be flying forward trying to force extra time here if they can. And Julian Alvarez oh, almost fleeing through Messi there as well. This is the last attack of the game. We might have to pull off some, some kind of black magic here. Take out Gakpo. I don't care, Marcus Acuna. Take the yellow. We have not been suspended yet. Anybody, not a single player. I think we're good here. And it's going to be a Netherlands free kick, which could potentially see extra time if they score from it. But I think it's worth it. This is the kind of gamesmanship that you need to be able to do. Game management is important in the stages like this. We just need to not concede from this set piece, which actually was a bad idea for me to let them have one because we conceded last time, but it doesn't matter. It's a 3-2 win, a famous Argentinian win against the Netherlands team that put up a very, very good fight, I have to say. This was a very fun game, probably the most fun one I've played yet. Very back and forth, and it seemed like anybody could have gone through at this point, but the quality came through in the end. Amazing through balls from my defend from my midfielders, I should say, and my attackers. And Paulo Dybala scoring the match-winning goal. What a hero. And taking a look around the grounds at some of the other results here, some shocking, shocking games here. Spain knocking out Ghana 3-0. That's not necessarily much of a shock, but look at that Senegal-France result. 4-3 for France. They barely made it past Senegal. We almost saw Senegal in the semifinals. Coming up against Germany, by the way, who got grouped in real life. But here, they're in the semifinals against France after knocking out Cristiano Ronaldo and Portugal. So we are going to be coming up against Spain, who, by the way, sleepers to win the tournament. I'm telling you, you heard it here first, way back in my World Cup predictions. But now it's really coming true. That team is freaking good, man. And we could be facing off against potentially France or Germany, the only South American team left representing this World Cup right now. It's three European teams and ourselves. We are the odd man out, but we are probably at this point between ourselves and France, the favorites to win this World Cup. So hopefully we can get ourselves to that World Cup final. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to find that out as we enter game six against Spain. By the way, in terms of the goal scorers now, I don't know what happened in that game, but Mbappe ended up with a hat trick. That he puts him on eight goals in the World Cup. That has to be some sort of a record. I was saying that earlier about Lautaro Martinez, but he has gotten a little bit quiet since the group stage has concluded, really since those first two games in the group stage. I have to say he hasn't been the same player, but Mbappe, eight goals. Goals. Sadio Mane knocked out now, but seven goals. Rafael Leao as well knocked out, but six goals in the World Cup. We could see some crazy, crazy players up there at the end. Well, guys, that is concluding episode five here, game five in the World Cup with Argentina. We are now into the semi finals. That is a pretty, pretty important game coming up against Spain. I'm very excited to see that game tomorrow. You will see that game when the knockout stages start in real life as well. So that's going to be exciting. I hope you guys are ready to see whether we are going to make the final with Argentina for the first time since 2014. And if you are, drop that support down below, leave a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Guys, I'll see you for game six. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and peace.